it doesn't make one mistake, they should have eaten you bastards out. <laughs> Why you think you force the Africans to speak English? Every time they spoke, you wanted to know what they said. <laughs> because you could have stand up there and he would have gone, I will, I will put the bastard in the pot of oil. <laughs> when you were in India, we didn't find hot tandoori powders yet. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd have curry your ass. <laughs> Caribbean, when you talk about Hitler building concentration camps to kill people, and Hitler creating a stud farm to produce the Aryan race, you English must look at your own history. During the Boer War of 1895, the British built concentration camps in South Africa where more people died in the camp than died actually fighting the war. In the Caribbean, during slavery, and a little island called Barbuda, you had a stud farm where you were breeding buck niggers to plant the sugar on the Caribbean. You motherfuckers. Oh, shut up. The pity you can't see him. <laughs> you can see our mothers took nine months, his mother took five. <laughs> I was sleeping with your wife last night. <laughs> Typical English. And these are the people when they see black people in England today, they don't know how we came. They don't know our history. They I don't know what you spun the English Channel on the foggy night disguised as an <laughs> And your father was at work and you were the milkman second helping. <laughs>
And the Irishman stood there in amazement. And he couldn't believe it. He kept looking at the donkey, kept looking at the West Indian. So he said to the West Indian, tell me, what did you do? Oh, the West Indian said nothing. First time I went up to the donkey, I said to him, I got a bigger prick than you. So the donkey started to laugh. <laughs> so the second time I took it outside, I showed him my prick and he started to cry. <laughs> Is he still there? No, he's not. You see how you get rid of white people very quickly. So, just my American friend, you were saying. You mean you forgot what you were about to say? But that's typical American. You always forget where you started off from. <laughs> No, I should not remember you. I should try and help you to remember, but not necessarily remember you. You mean remind you. Your English is hopeless. <laughs> you were the people who stole part of Mexico. You are the people who were in Vietnam helping the Vietnamese. And when the Vietnamese decide that they were coming with you, all of a sudden they became both people. They used to be your friends. Then they became both people. What were you doing in Vietnam? Fighting communism. Have you ever seen <coughs> communism? No. So what were you shooting? <laughs> communism is a philosophy as expounded by Marx and two other German philosophers, Hegel and Feuerbach. If you hate the philosophy so much, why don't you kill those three Germans? <laughs> why are you killing the Vietnamese? And every day we read in your newspapers, what did we read? 20,000 Viet Cong killed. American losses, not severe. Next day we read 200,000 Viet Cong killed. American losses, unidentified. I sat down one day with a Japanese calculator and I added it up. And according to your own propaganda, you had killed twice the population of Vietnam. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> oh, with the Japanese calculator. <laughs> and, all the cal and all the calculators that are made in America, at the back it says, product of Japan. <laughs> when you learn to speak proper English, you can talk to me. <laughs> Little Scottish colonial, how dare you? <laughs> No, it's all right. I am British. You're Scottish. I've got my independence. You haven't got yours yet. It's all right, my friend. Scotsmen are the only men in the world who goes around the world wearing a skirt. And if you want to know if they have anything under the skirt, you have to look for the dandruff on the shoes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what did the Red Indians call America before the white man arrived? Listen to his question, it's contradictory. What did the Red Indians say to the Americans before the white man arrived? No, you idiot! The Red <laughs> the white man arrived? How can the Red Indians talk to white people when the Indians don't speak English? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'll give you the answer, mate. Like, how? Difficult. How? You mean how? <laughs> my friend, I know I am stupid. All my teachers were white. <laughs> <laughs> Any more Americans? Where are you from, sir? Australia. Where? Australia. Oh. Where? Australia. All the way from down yonder? That's the one, yeah. 
I mean, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I'm in England now. <laughs> and I feel like going to the toilet. I decide to park it. But if I see two yellow lines, I can't park. I gotta keep driving until I meet the toilet, and then I go there and expose Prince Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Did you understand that? That, that is sucker. What I'm basically saying that Prince Philip is a prick. That's what the English language. Now you Americans don't understand subtlety at all. As a matter of fact, you don't understand the English language. That's why when you meet the English people, they laugh at you. I mean, I don't laugh at you. I mean, I look at you and say, my God. <laughs> when God made the American, she was only joking. <laughs> I don't want to be around when she's serious. You're really a something else, you know. Let me look at you. You look different. Oh, yeah, he looks I different. Are you American, sir? No. Where are you from? Germany. You're Don't from Germany. The war is over and he's over here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in England? I'm visiting a university. You are visiting a university? Yeah. Hitler came to visit one too. <laughs> in a minute, I'm talking to a German, please. <laughs> The British won the war, they're better off. <laughs> I mean, Britain won the war, he's here visiting a university, and English people can't go on holiday, relax. Are there any English people here? Look, I know you're out there. They're all on holiday. Eh? Are you English, sir? Where are you from? He doesn't know. <laughs> it was too dark when he left. <laughs> as soon as I ask people where they're from, I think they go all red. <laughs> You're German, aren't you? I'm Australian. You're Australian. <laughs> And your parents came from Germany, <laughs> Ireland, where? Scotland. 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 And why did they leave Scotland to go to Australia? Because, um... Be honest. I mean, it's difficult to be, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, a better life. You mean they stayed in Scotland? They look on the crystal ball and they saw better life in Australia. <laughs> Were you born in Australia? Yep. Have you ever seen a live Aborigine? <laughs> Did you say hello to him? <laughs> you said hello in English. Did he speak English? Uh, yes. He spoke English. Did you speak to him in his own language? Uh, Why not? But well, you're in his country, why you don't learn it in <laughs> I mean, I come to England and I learn the white man's language. You're in the man's country, why don't you learn his language? But you mean he's clever than you, he learns yours because he has more brains. <laughs> and you're dumb, you can't learn his. <laughs> when you come to England, don't you speak in English? Right. You speak to the natives in their own language. <laughs> So when you're in Australia, why don't you speak to the natives? You never thought about that? No, I haven't thought about that. You've thought about it. So you decided you're going to learn Abu. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because, um, unfortunately, where I come from, it's not Ah, where you come from, you don't see many Aborigines. You mean you killed all of them up? That's <laughs> right. Yeah, that's funny, you know. That's exactly what your ancestors did. <coughs> I know you have nothing proud of, nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, you're having a nice life. I mean, you're having such a good life, you come to England seeking cultural sustenance.